Hi, Assalamualaikum. Welcome back to my channel, Physics from 5 KSSM. Today, we continue 2.6, Bernoulli's Principle. In this video, I will discuss two learning standards. The first one, describe the effect of fluid velocity on the pressure. The second one, explain leaf as a result of the difference in pressure due to different velocity of fluids. Look at the picture below. A pupil is trying to leave a folded paper by blowing air below the paper. What will happen to the paper? Watch this video. When he blew hard below the paper, the paper was pressed close to the surface of the table. It is due to difference in velocity of air and pressure. As you can see, the paper was pressed close to the surface, meaning there is force applied from the upper part of the paper downwards. Where does the force come from? We will discuss further in this topic. So let's look at some activity to generate the idea that high velocity of fluids creates the regions of low pressure. So in this topic, we still discuss about fluids, meaning liquid and gas. Okay, we we'll look at the first video. The person is blowing up using a straw. So you can see at the end of a straw, there's a ping pong ball. The ping pong ball does not drop off. The second activity. The boy is blowing between the two pieces of paper. The two pieces of paper become closer to each other. Same thing when we blow using a hair dryer. So you can see clearly the two papers become closer to each other. The third situation, same thing as the first activity. You can see using a hair dryer so the ball does not fall off. For this activity, the person is blowing between the two cans, empty cans. You can see what happened to the can. The can become closer and finally collide. Okay, the last activity here. The person is blowing air between two balloons. Look at what happened to the balloons. Become closer to each other. So from all this activity, what we can see about the pressure between the two pieces of paper, between the two cans, or between the two balloons. So from here, we can see that the pressure difference produces a force that acts from the region of higher pressure towards the region of lower pressure. So you can see when air is blown, it creates high speed of air, thus produce low pressure region. So this concept actually is discussed by Bernoulli's principle. Okay, this is a venturi tube. You can see water is flowing from the water tap throughout the ventry tube. The cross-sectional area of the ventry tube at Y is smaller. So what can you say about the relationship between height of water column that you can observe here and the water pressure? As we know that fluid always flow from high pressure to low pressure. Because of the water is flowing from X to Z, Thus, we can say pressure at X is higher than pressure at Z. Okay, let's do, watch this video. Look at the level of water in ventry tube. When water is allowed to flow, the level of water start to change. So you can see the level at the Smaller cross-sectional area, meaning at Y, is the lowest compared to C and A. So how can we explain this situation? So 
So for this activity, by using ventral tube, we are able to relate between pressure and velocity or speed of water. So you can see the level of water. Okay. Now we try to answer the question below. What is relationship between height of water column in the tree tube with water pressure? So you look at carefully. Pressure at X is higher than the pressure at Z. Because water is flowing from X to Z. The smaller the cross-sectional area, the higher the velocity of water. Okay, what is the relationship between height of water column in the three tubes with the water pressure? The higher the pressure, the higher the height of water column. So you can see X, the highest point of pressure, so the level of water rise up higher. Now compare the height of water column in tubes A, B, C. The height of water column in tube A is higher than the height of water column in tube C and higher than the height of water column in tube B. Okay, so B is the lowest because pressure at Y is the lowest. So what is stated by Bernoulli's principle? Bernoulli's principle states that when the velocity of fluid increases, pressure in the fluid decreases and vice versa. Okay, let's discuss lift force. How is the lift force produced to lift aeroplane up into the air? One of the applications for Bernoulli's principle is airplane. So we are going to apply Bernoulli's principle in order to explain how lift force is produced that able to lift up the heavy aeroplane. The aeroplane shape of the wing of an aeroplane causes air to flow at high speed past the top section and low speed at the bottom section. Meaning above uh, the, the wings uh, of the plane above, air is flowing at high speed at the bottom part, low speed. The pressure is lower at the top section of aeroplane as compared to bottom part of aeroplane. Above is higher than the below part. Though this creates difference in pressure. The difference in pressure produces a lift force acting upwards on the aeroplane. The aeroplane took off when the lift force is larger than the weight of the aeroplane. So you can see here there are four forces act on the plane here. Weight downward lift force upwards, engine thrust forward and drag or air resistance opposite to the engine thrust. Okay, for activity 2.14, we look at filter panel with a ping pong ball. There is a water, water that flows through the silicon tube, end of the silicon tube, attach a filter panel and let the water running through the filter funnel. In the filter funnel here, we put a ping pong ball. Okay. Let the water flow out here. So what happens to the ping pong ball? The ping pong ball will stay at this position and does not fall off. So why is this so? The difference between the high pressure below the ball and the low pressure above the ball produces resultant force upwards. This resultant force is the lift force that lift up the ping pong ball. The region here is high air, high air speed, or you can use water also then. Okay, high air speed, and this one creates low pressure above the ping pong ball. Below the ping pong ball, region of high pressure. So the difference in pressure produces lift force that support the weight of the ping pong ball. So that the ping pong ball does not fall off. Okay, the second one, aerofoil kit. Okay, so you can see this is a fan to produce air, and this is aerofoil, represent the airplane model. Watch this video how it works.
when air is blown, so you can see it lifted. So the aerofoil shape of the wing of an aeroplane causes air to flow at high speed past the top section and low speed at the bottom section. The difference in pressure produces lift force acting upwards on the aerofoil. So you can see the aerofoil lifted up. So this one is due to difference in pressure. The difference in pressure produces lift force. Okay, now we look at more detail on the aerofoil. Just now we have discussed about the aeroplane. How can the lift force able to lift up an aeroplane? So now we want to discuss more about aerofoil shape. This is aerofoil shape. You can see this is a stream of air above the aerofoil shape. You can see the above part is more curved than the bottom part. Due to the shape, region of airflow at high velocity creates region low pressure above the aerofoil and below region at low velocity. According to the Bernoulli's principle, the higher air velocity at the top section produces region of low pressure, while the lower air velocity at the bottom produces region of high pressure. So the difference in pressure produces lift force acting upwards on the aeroplane. Now we want to discuss more. The total lift force acting on the aeroplane is also affected by angle of attack. When the aeroplane is at a certain angle of attack, aerofoil exert force on the airflow. So when the lift force is produced, you can see the aerofoil shape start to looks like the aeroplane start to take off. But at certain angle of attack, attack it will exert force on the aeroplane. Okay? So the aerofoil exert force on the airflow. According to Newton's third law of motion, a reaction force will act on the wing of the aeroplane and contribute to the lift force that act on the aeroplane. So it will increase the lift force. Thus the lift force will able to overcome the weight of the aeroplane and the aeroplane can take off. Okay. So that's all for the first part, Bernoulli's principle. I will continue Bernoulli's principle part 2 on application of Bernoulli's principle. That's all. Thank you for watching. Bye.